Philly, let's go. My guy, Dak Prescott, my favorite player in the NFL. My guy, the absolute warrior, Dak Prescott, gets paid today. The Cowboys decided to finally show up and pay one day before uh, the franchise tag deadline was. And Dak Prescott got paid, and it's a big-time mega deal, boys. Four years, $160 million, $126 million guaranteed. He got paid, guys. Big time money for Dak. Um, they negotiated. It's been going on for two years, guys. It's been taking way too long. It finally got done. Honestly, I was expecting another franchise tag. It would be in a $38 million franchise tag. But they come and clutch Jerry Jones and Dak Prescott. They finally make an agreement, get the deal done. I've been waiting for this for a while because he's my guy and I want him to stay where he wants. And he wants to stay in Dallas. And I'm going to be supporting him throughout. I'm always going to be supporting Dak Prescott no matter what. Because he's my favorite player. I'll, I love Dak and always be with him. I'll always uh, have his back. I'll always be supporting him no matter what. And uh, and I want him to prove the haters wrong. I know there's a lot of bunch of you haters out there. Um, but we're going to get it done. Dak Prescott's going to get it done. And he's a top 10 quarterback. Nobody's going to tell me otherwise. I'm telling you guys, he is a top 10 quarterback. But that has nothing to do with the contract. You got to realize that. If you're a casual, you're not going to realize that. The thing is, contract and the actual player are totally different. It's And we're going to get into that later. So be sure to keep listening to what I'm saying. But anyway, let's talk about the contract itself. Four years, 160. 126 million guaranteed. The highest in NFL history. Man. And then it's actually a six-year deal. Um, but voids to four to help with cap space. Obviously, this is going to be a huge cap hit for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, the deal is going to be up to $164 million. Um, this is going to be the second highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes is obviously going to be the top because uh, he is the best quarterback in the league. I'm not going to say anything about that. But um, he has a $66 million Signing bonus, the highest in NFL history uh, in the first three years. Three years for 42 mil. Those are the first three years out of his four. Um, and instead of doing that exclusive franchise tag, which are just would have been so disheartening to see as a Dak fan, um, that, that franchise tag already mentioned 38 mil. It, this saves $15.5 million in cap space. So that does well for the Cowboys, not trying to mess it up like they've already done with this contract negotiations over the past almost two years um but Dak's the dude man always Dak Prescott um uh he wanted near Mahomes money we heard about that news where Dak wanted near Mahomes money Mahomes is earning about 45 million dollars a year uh he asked for 41 42 43 million dollars a year you know he's got paid ahead of Deshaun but the thing is contract negotiations are different and the contract is different than actually how the quarterbacks are. Like, obviously, you're going to say, well, Deshaun is better than Dak um, and all that stuff. But obviously, you're going to say a lot of quarterbacks are better than Dak Prescott. Why is he getting paid so much more money than all of these guys? It's different. You have to look at the market. Um, it's not just about how good the players are. You have to look at how the market is right now. Mahomes' money is the top of the market right now. 45 mil. And they got Deshaun at 39. Um, he's on his last year of his contract. Okay, it's different. He played it out throughout. And they placed the exclusive tag on him. So he wasn't able to test the market out in any way. See what other teams are going to offer him. And uh, if you take a look at these, some of these other guys from his same draft class, 2016. Jared Goff and Carson Wentz. Those guys signed with a couple of D. Uh, years left on their contract so they didn't really need to sign him but they signed him anyway to you know 35 mil plus um this was last year you have to get it done he's waited for so long he's gone through the tag so obviously his price is going to go up the tag itself is 38 million dollars so it has to be higher than the tag right i mean the tag it's the average of the five highest paid qbs 38 mil so i mean he has to get paid higher than the tag and then, you know, these other guys signed with a couple of years left on their deal. If the Cowboys had done that, they would have saved a whole lot of money. If there's anybody to blame for this, making Dak Prescott get this much money, 
It's the Cowboys and the Cowboys themselves. They have nobody else to blame. <gasps> you cannot blame Dak Prescott. He was taking a look at the market, and he and his agent did the right thing. They waited. Um, they're listening. They didn't say anything to the media and stuff. Jerry and Jerry and Stephen were the ones doing all the talking, and uh, um, they were just they were just waiting for their deal to come around. And the Cowboys just couldn't wait any longer, and they had to get it done. Um, and that's that. Dak Prescott, man. And the Wentz signed a four-year, hundred twenty-eight million dollars. Goff signed a four-year, one hundred thirty-four. This is <gasps> a couple of years on their contract. Like I said, it would have been like twenty million dollars, high twenty million dollars average. You know, Jared Goff around twenty-eight million. It would have been somewhere around there if the Cowboys had done it. You know, two years ago when they started the talks, they waited too long. It's their fault. It's Jerry's fault. This is why it's been taking so long. Um, and they have to pay for it, and they have to pay more. Because that's how the market is right now. That's how contract negotiations work. It's not necessarily about how great the players went. It's whether where you can negotiate that and see how the market is and compare that to yourself and, uh, and, and say that this is how I'm going to do it and this is how we're going to get this deal done. If not, I'm not going to sign. So look, you know, the Cowboys, I mean, they paid their other guys so much more money. I mean... You look at Ezekiel Elliott, six years, $90 million, the highest paid running back in the league. Obviously, it's going to be a big cap hit. Has he played like that? Um, no, he's not played like <gasps> the highest paid running back in the NFL. Obviously not. He's fumbled so many times. He was just not as productive. Didn't have that same burst that I was used to seeing from Ezekiel Elliott. And then you have Amari Cooper signed the five-year $100 million deal last year. Both of these guys signing it last year. You know, he's paid higher than Michael Thomas and Tyreek Hill. I don't know about that. Um, look, Amari Cooper just cannot stay healthy all the time, and that's been a problem. These guys are getting paid more than what they should be, right? So Dak is saying, well, you guys are giving all these guys their money first, not even not even waiting for me because he's the quarterback, right? They're paying these guys before the quarterback. Um, and then they're asking Dak to say, hey, take less because they're trying to build around him. And that's like, and Dak's like, hey, no, I'm not taking less. You guys didn't make those guys take less, so why should I take less? That just another argument. I don't know if he actually said that or not. It just what a, what another um, just another thought that I had. Maybe that's what happened. And then you see Demarcus Lawrence, five years, hundred five mil. You know, only five sacks last year. He did not play up to that at all. Um, you see, after they pay this much money, they just don't play up to it. I don't know if that's gonna be the same case with Dak Prescott. I hope not. Because I think Dak's uh, a trustworthy dude. I think he's going to give it his all out there like he does every single game day. Um, he's not going to be lazing around like Ezekiel Elliott, guys. He's going to be giving it his all every night. And I'm pretty sure uh, he's going to be doing that because that's who Dak is. He's a good guy. Um, and the, you saw Jalen Smith. They signed him six years, 68 mil. You know, he's like he's paid like so much higher than what he should be. Is he a top 15 linebacker? I don't think so. But they're paying these guys higher. Jerry Jones is paying these guys higher than they should be. Um, and Dak's like saying you have to do the same. Uh, honestly, this is not good for the team. Um, the salary cap hit is going to be huge every year. They're not <gasps> going to be able to build a contending team around Dak Prescott every single year. Um, they have the pieces on offense like Jerry Jones. He likes that high-flying offense. Doesn't care a bit about that defense. Um, so it's like Tony Romo. I mean, Tony Romo signed, you know, the six-year hundred and eight million dollar deal in 2013. That was the highest back then. Tony Romo only has like one playoff win. So obviously, Tony Romo was paid much higher. Same thing with Dak Prescott, and uh, Dak wasn't willing to take less because Jerry Jones has paid them higher before, and all these guys higher as well. So that's that as well. That's another thought. Uh, but look, that's just how the market is. He's judging it based on the market. And uh, it is $40 million for a new quarterback deal. And he's the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. You know, he's waited. He's gone through the franchise tags. So this is how it is. And this is what the Cowboys uh, got themselves into. And it's their fault for this taking too long and getting this price too high. Right? So, look, I mean, you guys are going to say, well, Dak Prescott, is he a top 10 quarterback? He's a top 10 quarterback. Who are the guys in front of him? I think we know Mahomes, you know, Mahomes, Josh Allen, Deshaun Watson, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Lamar Jackson, okay? Seven guys. Now, now who's going to go ahead of him? 
Justin Herbert's only played one year. We don't know. Kyler Murray, uh, maybe in the future he might be better. It's just a little bit debatable right now. Ryan Tannehill, I don't think so. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, not really. I, I don't really think so. Same thing with Kirk Cousins. So, like, I think he's a top 10 quarterback. Those are the guys who are only in front of him. I can only name seven or eight, maybe nine guys ahead of him. He's top 10, okay? Now, look, obviously, he's going to come back. I can't wait for the comeback. Let's go Dak. Number fours. Got my jersey back there. Dak's going to come back, and he's going to do this comeback story better than ever. I can't wait for it. Obviously, he had that compound fracture dislocation in his right ankle in week five. He'll make a full recovery, thank God. Um, I was just heartbroken, and I was almost like, I was just stunned to my core when I saw him go down, man. Because I'm his biggest fan. Um, I was going to stick by Dak Prescott. I couldn't even, I just couldn't even, you know, can't even process what was going on. It was just a really hard day for me that day. Um, but look, both sides were unwilling to budge. They finally got it done. That's great. But the thing is, the Dak Cowboys are not going to be contenders in, for many years, right? Um, the Cowboys missed the playoffs the last three or four years. They made it in 2018. Hopefully they can make it this year for Dak Prescott because I'm rooting for Dak. Um, they got a solid team around him. Obviously, Cooper, Gallup, C.D. Lamb, a solid offensive line. Elliott, they have to stay healthy, though. Uh, he is so crucial to their success, you know. Uh, personally, I still believe they would have won the NFC East with him. Washington football team wouldn't have won with that 7-9 record. I think the Cowboys would have gotten at 7-9. Um, they would have won the division. Um, he had 1,856 yards, 9 touchdowns, 4 interceptions in the five games that he played and look the Cowboys only scored one touchdown in three games while well, they had scored 31 points in four out of five games earlier obviously you're gonna say well, those came in garbage time those are empty calories yeah I mean they're kind of are but he plays he brings them back into games and honestly the Cowboys defense was one of the worst in the league historically bad defense I agree he needs to play better against top contenders I totally agree he hasn't played well against the playoff teams I, I agree he needs to get it done um, he just has silly turnovers. I agree. No, he's got a lot to improve. I think he'll get it done. I'm a believer in Dak Prescott. You know, in five seasons so far, he's had seven 400-yard passing games, 24 rushing tu uh, touchdowns, the most by a Cowboys quarterback, and 15 game-winning drafts. He's clutch. Um, and a 42-27 and 27 record, great winning record. You know, he was, you know, he's only compared with Dan Marino in some category. He's really high in statistics as well. You know, uh, three, uh, 346, uh, 70,346 yards, 106 touchdowns, 40 um, interceptions. So, look, he has those numbers, uh, but again, he, ha he has a playoff win, unlike Carson Wentz. Sorry, I'm taking shots at him, but that is, that is what it is. He's won he has won a playoff game. He's come up big. And he's the Cowboys quarterback. He's their future. And uh, hopefully for him, I want to see him lift that Lombardi trophy. I hope he does. Good luck, Dak.